Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. Hey, man, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get to um, do my live stream tonight. I was so tired, man. I literally sat right here where I'm sitting, right here at the dining room table. No lie. And I fell asleep. Yeah. I fell, I fell to damn asleep. I took a shower. You know how I be. You have a long day. You come in, you take a shower, and you go to sleep. I got my little curls in, in my head, but I think that just came from a shower or whatever. So pretty sure it's going to go away when I wake up, though. But right now, I'm going to be a little, a little bit of Rico Suave for tonight. But speaking of Rico and things of that nature, so I told you guys I was going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, while we're waiting for training camp. Um this little stretch that we have right now, we're just going to talk about a couple of players and things um, uh, throughout the weeks. Um, guys that are on the bubble, guys that um, a lot of people forgot about, people that um, got drafted, undrafted guys. Um, what are their chances of making the Dallas Cowboys? Now, we look at uh, as we look at Cody McElroy, and this is a guy that we signed back in March. You guys... <laughs> looked at that and was like, who the hell is Cody McElroy? Because I was, you weren't the only one. I was right there with you. I was like, who the hell is Cody McElroy? Because the guy didn't even really, he played football, but not really. So I'm going to go over his his life and what happened with him. So um, he went to Oklahoma State. He played baseball at um, Oklahoma State for three years. Now, a little fun fact about him before I get to that. So he went to, uh, I think, uh I didn't know there was a city in Oklahoma called Chattanooga. I thought Chattanooga was Tennessee, but apparently there's a Chattanooga, Oklahoma, too, but whatever. So his high school in Oklahoma didn't have enough players to play football. So he ended up playing baseball. So that's where his baseball career started. He always wanted to play football, but he ended up playing baseball. That transcended to Oklahoma State. He played three years for Oklahoma State. He then got drafted by... The Atlanta Braves, kind of crazy life that he had because uh, he played multiple sports. Um, he got drafted by the Atlanta Braves. Uh, he played two years in the minors, so which means that he didn't really make the team. So he went to the minors, played two years. Um, then he retired, went back to college, to Oklahoma State, to finish his uh, degree and then he played basketball, I think, for that one year. Um, from there, he uh, then decided he wanted to further his education. <laughs> he ended up going to, I didn't even know this was a school. He went to Southeastern Oklahoma State. I didn't even know. I had to look that up. I didn't even know it was a school. So he went there. Um, he was taking a lot of intro classes, I think, for his uh, master's or whatever. So he um, was bored, I guess, on campus. So he just decided, hey, I'm going to play football. So because this is what I originally wanted to do when I was in high school, and I couldn't do it because my team didn't have enough players. So he ended up um, playing football for them. He played like nine games or whatever. And then um, after he, <laughs> he left that school, he was picked up in free agency as an undrafted free agent to in 2017 to the uh the Rams. And he went to training camp with the Rams. I don't know if he was on a practice squad with them for that year, but for uh but this March is when the Cowboys got him. So that was his road basically from high school, college to to the Dallas Cowboys. Um, he really like went to different <laughs> wavelengths. I mean, you went from playing baseball to um, basketball and now to football. Now, he's now 26 years old. And like Rico Gathers, he's a project guy and it's an uphill battle. Rico Gathers actually made the roster. Let's see if Cody McElroy can too. Now, it's interesting now because you got Jason Witten back. For a year or who or however long Jason Witten wants to play this time. Um, you got Blake Jarwin. Remember Blake Jarwin had that breakout game where he had three touchdowns in that um, the season fi season finale. Um, then you got Dalton Schultz and of course Rico Gathers. Now Rico Gathers, we know that he's going to be suspended for the first game of the year. Um, 
for getting in trouble for the marijuana possession and things of that nature, whatever. Um, Because, you know, the the league has a vendetta against the Cowboys. So you already know their players are going to get reprimanded for anything, even if the police say that you're good. You ain't good with Roger Goodell. So um, that's that's that. We already know how that goes. So um, how does that fit for Cody McElroy? Does him being suspended, or does Rico being suspended help Cody McElroy make this team? We don't know. We'll see what happens at training camp. Now, I will say that when Cody got signed in March, um, he did get some one-on-one time with the tight end coach um, Nussmeyer, Doug Nussmeyer. So um, I think that um, it helped him a lot with his development. But uh, Nussmeyer said himself in an interview basically like, hey, the way I look at this guy is this. Like Rico Gathers, he's definitely a developmental guy, but he's got all the attributes to be a good tight end. He's 6'6", he's 258 pounds, he's got the length, he's got. He's very athletic. That part he could do. He can catch, he can run. Um, they're still working with his blocking. Um, just like with a guy that hadn't played football that long, you know. Um, he's still learning, but he can definitely catch the ball and run. He can do that. Um but like I said, the Cowboys need to just start utilizing their players for what they are. If he can catch the damn ball and run the damn ball, do that. Make him a, a red zone threat, in my opinion, if he makes the squad. 6'6", six, six, high point that ball. Throw the ball up where the kids can't get it. All right? Put it on the top shelf. Put them Oreos on the top shelf where them kids, which is the cornerbacks and the safeties, where they can't catch it, where they can't get it. They can't get it. Only where he, him and Rico can get the ball. That's what you do. You throw that thing up. Tell Dak, throw that thing up. Um, That's just how I feel about it. So, um, like I said, it will be an uphill battle for him to make this team. But I like to root for the underdog. So, we'll see what happens with this guy. Um, But they said that, you know, that's the pro. So, the cons is, you know, it's just a development. You know, it's just like when you are good at something, you don't think about it. You just react. And, him and Rico, they both had late reaction times because your mind is still thinking about what you're supposed to be doing next. And that's a natural thing. You know, we all go through that. So it's a part of the learner's process. So he's one guy I'll be keeping my eye on the training camp and seeing how he develops and thing, things of that nature. So, again, we'll see what happens. Are the Cowboys going to keep four tight ends like they did before? We'll see. With with Jason Whitten here, maybe he can help out the young boys him and Rico, maybe bring them up. Because, again, Jason Witten has nothing to gain or lose. He's had a great career already. He's just here to help out the Cowboys where he can. And he sees what's what's he sees the writing on the wall. He sees what's going on. And I don't think that Jason Witten wants to get in the way. I think he wants to really help these young guys develop. So, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Oh, yeah, one quick thing. So, tomorrow night, um, I know Mark probably said it, um, Vosh is in town. So Vosh is going to be here um, at Mark's house. I'll be there. Um, I think DMV is going to be there. So we're going to have a live stream. We're going to act a monkey. And you guys are going to enjoy it, whether you like it or not. So that's just how it is. Um, Y'all know how I do. So anyway, it's your boy E2Blue. That's all I have for you tonight. So get off my get off my video, y'all. Y'all, I know y'all. I know y'all love me, but I love y'all too. But um, I just want to do this late when I know you guys are probably not going to see this video till tomorrow anyway. So um, shout out to all of my subscribers. You guys have been amazing through my process as being a YouTuber. Um, I appreciate all of you. Um, those of you that are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and get this content from your boy. So it is your boy E2Blue, always keeping it real, y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a great evening.